Good morning everyone, happy Monday. It's probably not Monday when you're watching this, I have no idea, I'm so ahead on videos, it's making me very, very happy. It's so nice to have like time between videos. You'll notice it's looking a little bit uh, warm in here, that is because it is miserable outside and my lights are on. It started off as such a beautiful day today, um, weather-wise. It was an interesting start to the day. Um, sad one. There has been a um, sheep and her lamb that has been kept separate from the other lambs where we live. And she looked a little bit worse for wear, the mum. Um, and I don't know whether that's something to do with it, but today we walked through the field and sadly her, her lamb hadn't made it. And um, we then walked through the fields and there were, I think we must have seen another three lambs that didn't make it. And then a sheep as well. I don't know whether they'd caught some kind of illness or whether it's the weather or what. I, I'm not too sure, but it was um, quite a sad walk this morning. Even though the weather was beautiful, it was still quite a sad walk. I think that that's one of the things that we were never prepared for when we moved this deep into the countryside is and that's quite a, a common sight that you see. As much as we saw the births of the lambs earlier on in the year, we are now seeing this side of things, which is honestly quite brutal. But anyway, I um, have been non-stop. It's actually not the morning. I know I have this weird habit of saying good morning. It's not the morning, it's the afternoon. I've done so much today already. I've been doing so much content, so much work. And um, I also had more presents delivered this morning. Oh my gosh. So um, my love of antique books has progressed, as you would have seen. My mum got me a book and also Porter, no, sorry, Barclay and Lumi got me books as well, but they were a bit more delayed because I think they were coming from Etsy and sometimes Etsy can take a bit longer. And I am in love with these books. So this was a set of four. Um, that Lumi got me and these are Nature's Nature Rambles by Edward Stepp and seasonally it goes from winter to spring, from spring to summer, from summer to autumn and autumn to winter. I am going to devour these. I actually can't wait. I've not even opened them properly yet to have a look at them but oh the illustrations. Oh they're so spectacular. Nature Rambles, An Introduction to Country Law by Edward Stepp, author of Wayside and Woodland Blossoms, Animal Life of the British Isles, etc, etc. Autumn to Winter, with 16 plates in colour, 15 half-tone plates and 44 text illustrations. Printed in Great Britain, 1930. I actually just cannot express to you how happy these books make me. Nature in the Garden. Oh, and I've got four of them. So those are from Lumi. And then this one is from Barclay. This is Everyday Gardening by Jay Coots. And this is a big one. But the moment that you open it, it is filled with just like the book that one of my um, subscribers sent to me. This is a garden of delphiniums. And I love these little pictures that you get in these books. And honestly, I'm just in love, the flowering garden. Oh, so I hope one day that when my um, office downstairs and the bookcases are redone, I'll have lots of different antique gardening books to go and peruse at my leisure. I have a wonderful video planned for you this week, for the next few days. And honestly, like my, my, my heart at the moment is just singing because I put a few brands on my um, on my vision board at the beginning of the year and uh, it makes me want to cry. Like it's honestly, it's so wonderful when those brands come in to work with you because I just did one this week. One of them was Tweezman, which I, I think I mentioned previously, which is a funny one. I think people wouldn't expect me to want to work with Tweezman, but for me, Tweezman is a brand that helped me so much growing up. And that was like, I was kind of thinking of things like out, outside the box really, and also value-based um, uh, collaborations, not just vanity, because a lot of the time it's about me wanting to work with these prestigious brands. And sometimes it's really important to me that it's actually a useful collaboration and it's not just feeding my ego. So I have to check myself on that. I do have to check myself on that. Um, but anyway, 
In this video, in tomorrow, I'm actually going down to London for a really exciting collaboration. I will tell you about it shortly. Um, but, well, I can kind of tell you about it now. I can tell you, mm, no, I can't. I need to choose outfits for it though first. I need four outfits because I'm going to be styling up some very, very special handbags. One of which you will know is, um, yeah. It is my numero uno, the one that I do not own. Oh my goodness. So yes, um, I need to choose some outfits for that. So hopefully you guys can help me with that. I have, I have one outfit in mind, but I've also got some other outfits as well to try on with you. But at the moment, I need to get my suitcase open. I need to get sort of like judging things and then get planning my outfits for my collaboration. Also, my like, oh, I've, I've got so much that I wanna tell you, but it should be a really lovely week. And the good thing is, is Ali is coming down to shoot with me tomorrow, so that will be really nice as well. And we should be going to Coworth Park as well. This is a family thing, um, it's for Ali's dad's birthday, and we were supposed to be staying down, but um, we've got a lot on over the next few months, and it just, it didn't feel right to do it. So we took this one on the chin for the doggos and we are, we're not staying over. We're going down for the day. Ali's gonna play golf and yeah. So anyway, I am going to get myself into an outfit and start choosing what we're going to style these bags up with. How exciting. Okay. I have found my leading lady dress. Oh my goodness. This is, I think, 92% silk, this dress. And the, sh the silhouette of this is so elegant and so flattering. Oh, and no, you can never have too many wild and wonderful green printed dresses. Look at this. It's so understated as well. It's gonna make it super easy to style. It's super pared back. And why, that's exactly why I call it my leading lady dress because I feel like the leading lady in films is always wearing a dress that she could have inherited from her mum. It's just that timeless style. It's not too much, it's not too little, it fits her right, but it's not um, super sexy. Like if you think about, I don't know, like the lady in, um, what's it called? In Under the Tuscan Sun, or like Gwyneth Paltrow in The Talented Mr. Ripley, or um, the, the lady from The Notebook, like all of those girls, it's not like hugely like sexy. They're like in dresses like this. That is, it's just, they just look amazing. They fit amazing, exceptional quality materials. And this is actually from a brand called Goelia. And I found this brand on Instagram. So when they came in to work with me on this, I honestly, I couldn't believe my luck because if you don't believe me, go onto their website and see how many green dresses they have on there. I was like, how have I not heard of this place before? First and foremost, the quality of the materials that they use. So they have a real focus on quality fabrics like silk, uh, cotton, cashmere, especially more into like the, the um, warmer months, wools, things like that. So you're going to be getting really beautiful quality pieces, but what they're aiming to do, some of their pieces are more higher price points, so this is definitely a more higher price point piece, um, but they're also trying to make those quality fabrics that are better for the environment and that are natural. Um, much more accessible. It's not a fast fashion brand, it's a brand that's focusing on the craftsmanship, the quality, and the timeless silhouettes of their products and the pieces that they're putting out. And instantly I was like, this is a brand I'm interested in. And if I haven't heard of, heard of them, with the amount of time that I spend on the internet, I it was just an absolute joy to work with them on this video and share some of my favorite pieces with you. I have a discount code. It is Lydia25. It will get you an extra 25% off. They often have different deals on their website as well. Sometimes like you'll get two for 20% off or things like that. So I think that you can use them in conjunction with my discount code. But um, I'm going to show you some of the pieces and also talk you through the fabrics as well because this is just beautiful and I feel like this would be really nice with obviously my usual ballet flats but a really lovely just strappy paired back heel in summer like this could be wonderful for garden parties and things like that just loads of fabric in the skirt it moves beautifully I think with a beautiful basket bag like this maybe you could put like a vintage scarf on it very much like 
those more timeless shapes of sunglasses as well. This to me is a dream summer outfit. This is, I'm holidaying in Tuscany. This is, I'm, you know, probably gonna kick my shoes off and walk barefoot in like, I don't know, a town somewhere. I don't know, I don't know. This is just me like imagining, but um, absolutely love this. And basically, just to tell you, I'm, I'm trying to find outfits for, um, Another job that I'm doing with, which I'm so excited about as well, I'm doing a job with Vestia Collective and for me this is so huge because you'll know that I'm, I'm kind of, I'm just going through the motions with um, changes and shopping differently and things like that and focusing more on the fabrics and the quality but also buying pieces that I, if I can get them second hand. And so tomorrow I'm actually going down to London to shoot with Vestia Collective for basically what is said to be one of their most exceptional Hermes collections ever. So I'm going to be styling up um, a few of the, the most iconic Hermes bags that they have and I have to pair outfits. I wanted to do like different outfits, show different options, but obviously showcase the bags as well. This is a dream collaboration for me and it is what I put on my vision board. So um, basically these outfits have to go with the bags that I have selected. Now, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but there are some very, very beautiful bags in there. And I actually think there's a, there's a beautiful kind of ivory colored one and um, it could look very, very lovely with this. It would give this more of a, an elevated look, but obviously for the summer vibes, this to me is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Also, it has this beautiful tie to the waist as well that really cinches it in and gives you that volume through the skirt. Okay, so we have an option. I need to pack a suitcase, so we have an option. I obviously don't need to take bags with me, but for the most part, option number one. Obviously, I will link all of the items from Goelia in the description box down below. I'll also put their fabric compositions and I will also share their prices. My codes will be in there and also just make sure that you look out for any other offers on the website as well. Okay, I think we know why I went for this one. I've just paired this beautiful wool single-breasted jacket with a pair of my old trousers and this is so like Chanel vibes, I can't cope. This is it, isn't it? Wow, oh my gosh, I love this. And this would look so wonderful with some paired back blue jeans as well. I personally don't love um, ripped hem jeans, but this is just such a great piece to throw on in spring summer because it's kind of like a cardigan as well. It's beautifully knitted and it's super soft. It's not itchy at all. And this retails for 105 pounds, but obviously with my code, it's 25% off. So that'll take it down to probably just over 75 pounds. And it is so timeless, so elegant, and it will pair with so many things in my wardrobe. Oh, I love this. And you can obviously like throw it over your shoulders and wear it like that. I have so many super expensive jackets in this style and half of the time they don't have the same quality when it comes to the fabric. So this is absolutely beautiful. I'll link this down below with my code. Okay, I actually just had to show you this one super quickly because this is a 100% wool trench coat but this is like no trench coat I have ever owned because it is as light as a feather and as soft as butter. And it was the perfect piece to kind of throw on, especially on a day like today when it's sort of a bit rainy outside and you maybe want an extra layer, maybe um, you want to cover yourself a little bit more in terms of like the wind, etc. I've popped it over my shoulders, but um, I thought I would put it on as well just to show you. But I feel like it looks really nice with the cropped jacket. Obviously, Max like this are super classic as well, but this is a real spring trench. Like, I actually can't believe you could wear this as a dress, to be honest with you, as well. This would actually make a really lovely dress with those classic accessories and the most beautiful fabric as well. Oh my gosh, I love this. I need to try this on with some other things. So like I said, this is 100% wool. Like, if, I don't even think that I can get across how exceptional the quality of this piece is like look at the color it is perfection and because of that this is probably 
kind of similar to the silk dress, slightly more elevated in price. But again, I've got my 25% off discount code, which is Lydia25. But yeah, this is like their slightly higher price point, but you know that you're getting something that is gonna be in your wardrobe for a lifetime. I don't know why I did that funny little <laughs> then. <laughs> but yeah, love this, absolutely love it. Perfect for over dresses as well, like more midi length dresses. If you were to pop this over the top, it adds a nice layer and also um, a little bit more warmth, but the silk crop jacket is a winner for me. Seeing as we're here, I'm showing you this beautiful print up close. There's stunning birds, wildflowers, blossoms, and stripes. It's kind of like a sort of muddy, muddy greeny brown, which I love on the print, and then an ivory background to it. And the dress is 100% cotton, another leading lady dress in my humble opinion. Um, this is the leading lady haul, in my opinion. And it's actually an energy that I'm trying to bring anyway. Like, um, I was taking some tips from one of my favorite films, which is The Holiday, and you have to be the leading lady of your life. And I need to do more of that. I need to be more less apologetic. I need to be the leading lady of my life. And leading lady dresses are the vibe moving forward. This is gorgeous. It has obviously the tie waist, the puff sleeve, the zip closure, super, super fitted and flattering at the waist as well, but you can obviously swap out the tie belt if you want to add your own belts, which is something that I love to do. I've gone for more understated accessories with the, it's not kind of like in your face as the Chanel pumps. These have um, beautiful straps, head back, French market bag, and that is the look. I feel like my hair always makes me a bit more glam. I need to like get used to just, you know, throwing my hair back and doing whatever. I feel like a clip would be quite cute with this um, as well. If we were to go for, it would need to be tortoiseshell. Tortoiseshell is always the best in terms of clips, but how is that? Oh my gosh, I love this. And the cotton is feather light, super comfortable. It's gonna be a great fabric for the spring summer season as well, super breathable and um, obviously super natural as well, which I just live for. This is such a beautiful brand and um, the pieces are exceptional. Oh my gosh, and it's got pockets. You always have to check and it's got the pockets. <laughs> yes. I am living my best life. <laughs> okay, this is a leading lady does Paris. <laughs> This dress with this um, jacket is too much. I actually, I'm in love. So this is, a, I think it's worsted wool dress, but it's also got a percentage of cashmere in this dress. And it is so soft and super lightweight as well. So I would say that this is a perfect, perfect transitional piece. Um, I'll obviously take the jacket off and show you the dress on its own. And I've actually teamed it with the belt that the dress comes with because I thought you might like the belt um, because it's obviously very understated, but still, uh, still very, very much like a high quality piece. And then um, there's no brand names on it or anything like that. It's also fully adjustable. So um, that works really, really well. And the dress is a beautiful length, lovely with flats. I feel like this with a low bun, if I could be bothered to put my hair up. I am literally leading lady in Paris in this. Um, let me show you it without the uh, cardigan. This neckline is not a neckline that I've ever gone for. It's obviously a much higher square neckline but I also think that as a transitional piece from summer to autumn this with like a shirt underneath it or a ruffly blouse would look super elegant obviously pockets again but if you are someone who likes to wear black dresses in summer as I know that there are many of us um, this is such a beautiful option I love this so much obviously you can swap out the belt for your own pieces if you want to, if you want to add like a logo or something. Um, but for me, the bag is enough and so are the sunnies. And this is so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I'll link this one down below, but again, emphasis on the cuts, the quality, the fabric. Oh, so good, so, so good. I don't know if you'll see how soft this is. It's like, oh, so, so soft. Well, I definitely think that this jacket is the hero of this haul, despite my leading lady dresses. This with these beautiful high-waisted shorts, perfect kind of color, 
to go for that Chanel vibe. Um, I've basically kept all of my accessories pretty pared back and pretty much the same, but I love this. You can have a little like cropped cami underneath here um, if you get too hot, but you can also just wear this um, buttoned up like it's a like it's a top as well. I love this. So, so cute. And these are so comfortable as well um, and super flattering. So very, very good outfit for this time of year, but also holidays. And do you know what? I just, I really feel like I'm finding my style, like I'm finding the things that, that work for me. I think, I don't know. I, I just feel like I've like turned over a leaf. My last two hauls with you, I really feel like comfortable and I'm like watching the clips back and I'm like, no, that looks good, Lydia. It's like I found the silhouettes and the shapes and the fabrics that work for me. So yeah, super cute. And I love that these go with um, ballet pumps as well. So yeah, love that. Okay, this is very, very Lydia Millen. I actually can't cope. Now this again, I love because immediately this is totally a transitional piece. You can add a beautiful roll neck underneath this. I actually don't have anything underneath it at the moment, um, but I've just, I've kind of put it on so I wasn't too sure how it would look on me. This is a 100% wool and it's washable two piece cape. So it's completely sleeveless, but obviously this cape adds such a bizarre element of warmth. I actually can't put it into words. So you could put a beautiful ivory roll neck under this, or if you wanted to go more understated, you could go black. It has actually got matching trousers on the website as well, um, but I love it contrasted with the white jeans like this. Um, tan accessories, it does come with its own belt as well, but I actually swapped the belt for my usual one. Um, and I wanted to show you it without the cape on because the cape, unbuttons and literally just unbuttons like that and then you've got a really lovely waistcoat on its own i want to show you the fabric because this is a beautiful herringbone tweed as well with my usual tones this looks fantastic this is like the perfect transitional piece as well something super statement um but really really timeless as well it reminds me of a michael kors piece that i saw in one of their runway shows like a few years ago and i think it was a dress and it was absolutely exceptional but this as it is i absolutely love so i will link all of the pieces in the description box down below don't forget my discount code it's lydia25 will get you 25 percent off there are other offers on the website as well so pay attention to those um, and also just check out the fabrics and all of the other green dresses, please, because they are so beautiful. And I kind of had to restrain myself because otherwise I'm just gonna be doing haul after haul of green dresses. Um, so it's just one in this one, but yeah, so now I need to choose which items I'm going to take with me in my suitcase to shoot for vestiaire tomorrow. I feel like this could be a really cute outfit. Like we could do this as a reel and it's something different. I want to obviously do some dresses as well, but, this with some sunglasses. I know I've done sunglasses in almost every shot, but I think that that could work really, really well because there's some very, very beautiful bags. So I'm gonna get rummaging to, to choose my pieces that I'm gonna wear tomorrow. But yeah, let me know which was your favorite piece as well. And I just, I loved doing this because I really felt like this was such a great brand to introduce you to as well. Um, and I know that you really like this kind of price point and with the emphasis on the fabrics as well. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Hello Granny Meow, hello. Come on Aminals, come on. I'm trying very hard not to put gardening in every video, but in all honesty it's a struggle because I just bloomin' love it. I love it, I think I love it more than handbags nowadays. In fact, I know I love it more than handbags, even though I'm going to look at handbags tomorrow. I still love handbags, but oh my gosh, just coming out here and seeing the little babies coming up and, oh, like, look at these. My little courgettes and cucumbers, they just look so perfect and they're just about ready to show off their second leaves. We've got these cauliflowers coming up, my um, spring onions. Oh, it just brings me so much blooming joy. I think I might just give everything a bit of a quick water. Before I settle down with Ali, because Ali would like to settle on the chicken coop. Um, 
So yeah, we need to just sort of finalize which one we're gonna go for, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. What are you eating? Off. Out of there, please. Come on, dumplings. It's a leaf quarter, it's nothing exciting. Caught red handed, rolling in stuff. Look at him, so happy. So happy. So I've laid out some bits and pieces to take with me. Um, Carrie thinks that this is a very Audrey Hepburn-esque dress. This is one of the ones from Goelia. And I think I'm gonna take that with me for one of the bags. I'm also taking the wool cape as well. I think that outfit looked really nice. I'm gonna take a selection of dresses as well. I think this one will look really good with one of them. And um, yeah, just take some basics and some different bits and pieces so that I can be sure on styling. But yes, this is, this is basically what I'm thinking of um, for the content tomorrow. Oh, look at the Lord of his manor looking out over his kingdom. I'm just hitting Porty in the face with his tail. <laughs> oh dear. Look how bright and beautiful it is. I know. That is exactly why that beehive was placed there because we analyzed the sunspots to ensure that the sun hit the hive in the evening to keep it nice and warm. Ah. Clever on that, huh? Very clever. There you can see our hive in the woodland, soon to be two hives. A thingy timer there. We've got Lumi joining us as well. Um, I'm feeling a bit lethargic this evening, so I think what I'm going to do is go and shove a load of outfits in my suitcase and just hope for the best. Um, but Ali is currently editing his video of my birthday surprises. And we're also going to have a look at choosing the chicken coop. Yeah. Lovely thumb. Is that your thumbnail? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Cheekbones look good though. <laughs> So, hello, my favourite cat. <laughs> yeah, so that's the stroller with the run, isn't it? That looks pretty easy to clean as well, because look, all the sides come down. So you'd have to have a run for them? Yeah, you'd have to have a run, and then you can ask them what run goes with it. What I like is I like the actual coop to look like a house. Cause it's Jade, where's my phone? I really like the way that Jade Holland Coopers looks. So they one, they can actually walk inside it. You, you want the fence to go all the way around the square bit then? So you think rather than having a run, have it, have a pen? Well, the thing is, is by the looks of things, you can take these off the top bits. They're just for when there's like avian flu, I'm thinking. Don't think it looks like a traditional like chicken coop. You want one that you can have just the house. So at times when there's not avian flu and you want to let the, chick the, the chickens out, they can just peck around and do what they want. And then if there's avian flu, you put the run on them and you look after them, otherwise they're just free ranging. What I'd rather do is get this one and get some someone to build a nice fence like Jade Holland Cooper's one yeah. around it. Perfect. So this is the chicken house that we've decided on. It's called the Cherry Glacier Chicken House. And um, we're hoping that we're gonna be able to do a kind of custom run around it because I really like how traditional this looks and this can have up to 10 uh, chickens, we're over, uh, 20 chickens sorry, we're not intending on having 20 chickens but we want them to have lots of space to move that's around. For 20 chickens? Yeah. That's a little bit confined, you're supposed to have 
I think it's a foot squared per chicken. My chickens need space. Your chickens will have space because there will be. Chicken is a lame chicken. And we should get them the orchard shelter too so that they can go and rest in there. Good morning, everyone. I look a little bit sleepy, but it's that time of the year where I love coming up here, throwing the window open and listening to the sounds of the birds. It's beautiful. The sun is shining and it is a beautiful day. I am up and dressed, my bag is packed and we're ready to head down to London. So let's get going. Oh my goodness me, that sunlight. Also, um, a lovely lady sent me this to my PO box. I believe that she sells this on her um, eBay account because she realized that I was having trouble with um, hairspray on my scalp. This is a Korean beauty brand called Forest Story. Love the branding, love the colors they've used. Um, and it's called a super hard water spray and it's perfect hold. Forest, Forest super hard water spray will help you make more satisfactory hairstyle that other products and protein ingredients deeply soak into your hair and protect them. Special care system. This doesn't irritate my scalp and it means I can flatten down my little flyaways that I get now because my hair, I obviously lost some hair during COVID and um, this works really well. I get a few little horns. <laughs> we have just got to London and we are in our taxi and I don't know if you remember, I don't know if I spoke about it in a vlog, but um, I spoke to a taxi driver a few years, maybe a year ago or something, and he let me know that they were going to be chop chopping down the big, old trees outside of Euston Station and they're gone. They're, they're about a metre. Bigger than that. And a half. Yeah, big, a, a metre and a half the size of the trunk and it's gone. It's absolutely gone. I honestly think that that is, especially in London, like I feel like in London you need all of the trees like that that you can get and um, I know it's for like the greater good of public transport by the sounds of things but I still don't think that trees like that, when they're that old, should be able to um, be destroyed. Um, maybe you know that, I don't know if you can like replant a tree once it's been cut like that. Do you think you can just move it and put it in the ground or do you have to like uproot it? Oh yeah, just uproot it. Yeah. So it's definitely That's not- That's definitely deader, yeah. Oh God, so sad. Well, anyway, we are almost at the location and basically where we're going is um, where the collection of pre-loved and um, second-hand, sometimes new, but obviously owned by somebody else, collection of um, S bags. And um, now Vestia offer a authentication service as well. So you can actually make sure that everything that you're buying is fully, fully authenticated. So I'm very excited to learn more. Which is your favourite? Yeah. This one. Thick. Honestly, this is yeah. on my wish list Aww. so much. It is going to be so hard to walk out of here without that. Yeah, <laughs> it's this size. Yeah. This is a summer bag. Yeah. This is my dream. And also the Berenia leather in Volve yeah. is my favourite of all time. So the yeah. fact that they've made it as a picnic yeah. with that. Oh. Yeah. Mm. So I don't think they're going to bring that out again. Only the picnic Birkin. Well, <laughs> it's like, no, <laughs> no pressure to buy. The um, <laughs> only thing that I wish that they would do is the gold uh, the gold hardware. Oh, oh, none of the pigments. No, I yeah. don't know why that is. Because it doesn't go with all the colours. Do you think? Yeah. I think it looks so nice with the... But then I just like gold hardware in general. Because they wanted to stay true to the original picnic as well, right. which was the 35 centimetre go yes. back. However many years, yeah. Yeah. definitely. That's, that, that's the one. I can see that being a future, future vintage with values that go in excess of hundreds. Well, we have arrived to the private Hermes suite with Vestia Collective and oh my goodness, we've spent the majority of the morning basically acquainting ourselves with this spectacular space. Now, this has been um, arranged and put together for a number of their private clients to come and peruse the collection. Now, you won't be able to do that when you're watching this, but you will be able to shop the collection 
on Vestia Collective right now. So I'll pop a link in the description box down below. And the good thing about this collection, it is quite spectacular. And this is not, this is not all of it. This is just the bags that are on consignment with Vestiaire. So what that means is Vestiaire have them in their possession. They've all been authenticated, they have all been checked over, and all of the nitty gritty information about each bag has been recorded so that you're buying with full confidence and fully aware um, and also fully knowing that these are completely authentic um, as pieces. And when I say that there are some of the most spectacular bags I have ever seen, I genuinely mean it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's two walls of bags at the moment and obviously this is my favorite. I instantly gravitated towards the mini picnic. This is the mini Kelly picnic in um, the 20 size. And this is the, this leather is the Berenia leather, which is one of my absolute favorites. It's not the Berenia Faubourg leather, which I obviously know very well. Um, this is the normal Berenia. The, I think this is probably the first um, iteration of the uh, Berenia leather. So it's more smooth, but it's got that really nice matte finish. Then it obviously has the contrast stitching, which I just love, and the picnic. The shade of the leather is Fov, which is honestly my favorite, favorite color from Hermes. I think it is rich, it's deep, and it genuinely does look like the saddle um, of an Hermes saddle, basically. The leather that they've used is the same leather. It's a really, really important leather in the history of Hermes, and this bag, oh my goodness me, this bag is the pinnacle. There's no bigger than this, and if one day I'm ever lucky enough to have this in my collection, um, I will be very very happy i'll probably never wear it because this bag is such an investment even buying it now if you were to buy this bag um through vestiaire and you were to lock this bag away in a few years time it will have probably doubled in value um even just holding on to it until it's a vintage oh my goodness because they haven't redone this bag for many many years if you click on the link in my description box you will find lots of information about all of these bags but there is some very very spectacular pieces like this mini kelly um, invert fizz and epsom leather with palladium hardware this is such a gorgeous like spring vibes like imagine this with a really beautiful colorful twilly it's really going to make this bag pop i I'm just in love with it, but I'm not allowed to buy green bags. We've learned that lesson before. I am not allowed to buy green bags. And this one is, I feel like this is a timeless classic. This is the Kelly 25 Noir in box calf leather with palladium hardware. And I would say I used to be super, super scared of box leather bags. And I have to be honest, it is now, aside from the Berenia, probably my favorite, favorite favorite leather. Um, this is again a really important leather in the history of Hermes but it is beautiful because of the way that it ages and I think that that's the thing that scares people because it's beautiful and shiny and it has this real kind of sheen to it um, but as it ages it just gets all of the beautiful like scratches and marks and like well lovedness over time and obviously my vintage Kelly that I have in the uh, Rouge Hermes is also box leather and I just I'm so glad that it's in the box because it just looks so classic so timeless but also like it has been loved and the thing about Hermes bags is obviously if you are someone that collects them and has them as an investment then it's slightly different but with um um, the vintage pieces for me, I, I love them to look worn. This is a shining example of a brand new Kelly and it is in perfect condition. The palladium hardware is actually harder to get hold of as well. Gosh, isn't this funny? How many years ago was I not interested in Hermes and now I am just in love? Um, but yes, the palladium is actually more rare and um, so, so beautiful. And this is the 25 size, which I think is a really, really good size for the Kellys. I have a 32 Kelly and a uh, 28, and then I have the mini Kellys. And I would say that this is a really great everyday bag, whereas the mini Kellys are kind of just for show. <laughs> but this is so, so beautiful. It would be incredibly rude of me not to try on my dream bag with you as well this size is just glorious so this year they haven't done this in fact they haven't done this for a number of years as well so these are so so rare and it is 
indicative of the price as well. So this is a very, very big investment for a handbag, but I really, really hope that one of you is watching this and you're in the market for this bag because imagine this in your summer wardrobe. Oh, look at it with shirt dresses and just all of the classics. This is the dream summer bag and I am fully 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 obsessed with this and actually I always thought that I wanted it in the gold hardware it doesn't come in the gold hardware it only comes in palladium which is a real sort of style statement for the like classic classic Hermes designs and I'm obsessed look at it with my twilly on it as well it's like it was meant to be mine oh I really really want it now I'm not gonna pick this bag up because this is the shade Nata. I think that's how you say it. And it's in the rose gold hardware. I've actually never seen a bag in rose gold hardware before. And I think it works so beautifully with this bag. Now this is an exotic, um, so this is the ostrich leather, but um, it's got this pinky undertone to the color of it, which complements the rose gold so, so beautifully. This is a 25 Birkin as well. This is in the Retourne style, which is my favorite. And oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. We also have a 25 Birkin cargo, which I've actually seen a huge amount of these recently, especially with people that I follow online being offered these. Um, I think more so in the black, I've never seen it in the sesame and I love this as a shade. It's just a bit more, I'd, to say vibrant, I think does it an understatement, but this really is like your cool girl bag, like totally utilitarian and effortless and just gorgeous obviously it has the uh, cotton canvas and the swift leather and with the palladium hardware as well but this is a real showstopper and i can't reach this constance at the top but oh my goodness this is so beautiful it's so tiny as well oh my gosh but there are so many beautiful bags here for you to peruse and become acquainted with if you are in the market for an Hermes bag. This is by far, I think, growing on me. I, I never thought that I wanted the pochette, but this is actually a better size than the Mini Kelly. Sadly, it doesn't have a um, crossbody strap, which is part of the appeal for um, the Mini Kelly for me because it makes it easy to just throw on my shoulder. But size-wise, this is amazing. And this color, oh, this is um, the shade Lime, and it's in the Swift Leather, and it is just gorgeous. And this is the stunning suite that we are in, enjoying our time here. And I have a little cheeky something to show you when I get home as well, and some beautiful flowers from the team as well. But my goodness, it has been the most wonderful, wonderful way to start the day. I love being able to do this and share this with you on my channel. Vestiaire is such an amazing place. I'm a customer of Vestiaire. Both Ali and I shop there. Ali usually is shopping for me uh, for silk scarves. It's amazing to just peruse their entire collection, but also their bags for Hermes are just unreal. They have some of the best on there. And with this huge private collection now live, you can shop it. So I'll pop it in the description box down below, but what a way to spend a Tuesday. Also, I had to do this with you. So this is the menu for the clients that are gonna be, that are gonna be coming here. And let's see if this menu is better than some of the best restaurants and um, hotels that I've stayed at. So at the Hermes preview menu, you have brunch canapes of smoked carrot lox, which is a multi-seeded toast, herb and lemon tofu cream topped with pickled shallots. There is also a spirit, spir this is a hard word to say, spirulina chaya pot, which is spirulina coconut yogurt served with chaya seed porridge, fresh berries, and maple syrup topped with coconut flakes and crunchy almonds. Then there is a probiotic apple pot, which is ginger spiced apple compote, vanilla and coconut yogurt topped with a crunchy nut crumble. Oh my gosh, it's actually making me hungry. And then we have the all day canopy menu, which is truffle polenta croute. And then there's the no beef sliders, which are mushroom, walnut, and beetroot burgers served with beetroot, pickled onions, tomato, lettuce, homemade thousand island dressing, and goji berry ketchup. And then the big dog. The pharmacy garden pizza bites, a rich tomato base topped with celeriac puree, roasted squash, kalamata olives, chili flakes, and finished with crispy kale. Then there's raw chocolate tart, which is finished with seasonal berries, chocolate sauce, and raw nola. 
and then the berry cheesecake with crunchy coconut and almond base, creamy cashew and berry cheese topped, and raw nola and seasonal berries. This is the kind of treatment that you get when you are a top client for Vestia Collective, and that is, my, is something I am going to aim to be because I really want to eat all of this. <laughs> but anyway, we are gonna move on to our next stop for the day now. I've had the best morning ever. The girls were so sweet as well. I've got my own little Vestia Collective tote which has had my initials embroidered onto it which is so nice so yeah we're gonna head off for the rest of the day now we are back home from london and i completely forgot that we have ken and graham here painting at the outside little courtyard area you haven't done there have you no no that would be the same color as that room won't it i don't know oh my gosh it looks amazing so much softer. Okay, so we've had Ken and Graham here painting the outside courtyard um, in the same colour as my greenhouse. So it's a really, really beautiful, oh my God, it's perfect. So good. So much softer. Oh wow, it looks beautiful against the stone as well. This is our Car Pietra um, tumbled limestone floor out here. Oh, it looks so much better down there. Hello, dumplings. We've been keeping the house nice and safe. Oh my gosh, literally wet nose to the face. Yes, oh yes, Buckley, you kiss everyone on there. Um, yes, I know that you've got lots of questions about the downstairs area because we haven't obviously um, spoken about that yet. Uh, or kind of updated you for a while. We've got most of the plans, but we're doing the guest bedrooms and um, on sweets first so yeah you just have to bear with us on on the downstairs we do want to get to it but it just takes some time so we're back oh very excitable sausage dogs we're back it was such an amazing morning with the vestiaire collective team honestly it felt so so wonderful to just see the whole collection connect with the girls charlie one of the girls that works there um i did some work with her when she was at smartworks which is an amazing charity and um, it was just so lovely to catch up with her on that as well they got me some beautiful flowers glad to be home my goodness me and do i have any seeds that have germinated i don't think i do no no see these ones these have been in there for a while these are some um I think some pumpkin seeds, but they're just not really, like they've been in there ages. And I just maybe think that they're not very good seeds because not a single one has germinated yet and they've been in there forever. It has been an eventful return home. Um, Ali received the most wonderful gift from his manager for his birthday. Um, what's it called, Ali? A tippling stick from Purdy. So it's basically a walking stick that the end screws off of and inside there is a little glass vial. I'm guessing you put whiskey or brandy or something like that in it for when you're out in the countryside to keep you warm. There's like a little um, thimble that you sip from. It is absolutely beautiful. I wish I'd had my camera when he was um, unboxing it. However, I've just de-birthdayed the house and um, we've saved any of the flowers that are still, uh, still alive and put them into to fresh water and vases and they're doing really well. I'm going to get these beautiful ones from Vestiaire into a vase but I have received the very last of my birthday presents as well. So Annie says that this one is from the bees. <laughs> um, either that or it's the chickens but yes this is another oh gorgeous the flower garden. Oh. This one is truly beautiful because the colour of this is like a borderline between sage green and a sort of muddier green. And then it's embossed in gold. Um, beautiful, beautiful spine typography there. And the fabric is like a linen. Oh. So beautiful. I appreciate the actual beauty of covers. I know that most people say never judge a book, book by its covers, but for me, the cover is half of the beauty of the, the book itself, and then you get to lose yourself in its contents. Um, so this is The Flower Garden, and funnily enough, talking of books, I have just had Anna Pavord's 
daughter messaged me on Instagram. So um, Ali and I have a wonderful friend in this industry called Sasha and she has the most incredible antiques business and she very clearly knows Anna Pavord's daughter and she has messaged me to let me know that she's going to be showing her mum the pictures of me with her book and I know that so many of you went on to um, buy the tulip book yourself. Um, I think the general gist is that you have to track them down, they're quite like, they're not like some, you just wouldn't walk into like a bookshop and find them, they're very like, you have to and they're usually old as well. Uh, basically, Anna is a very, very, very well respected gardener and she wrote the book, uh, The Tulip, and it is one of those books that is as beautiful on the outside as it is on the inside. And I love that. There's definitely some kind of metaphor or something in that. But anyway, I loved it and I love green old books and that is the last book from the bumblebees, well, the honeybees um, in the garden. And that's the last of the birthday presents. Um, time to get these in some water. The girls devoured the last of my birthday cake, but we also had cupcakes from Alex. So they are now on the cake stand. And Ken got me some macarons as well. So no doubt when these are done, we will have some macarons on there. 